Good morning, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 23. But he who received seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The seed and the soil are inseparably linked in nature's cycle of growth. Though the seed is good and rich with regenerative power, it cannot produce life unless planted into good healthy soil that is rich with nutrients and conditions needed if there is to be a harvest. I taught this week during Through the Bible Thursday's Bible study about a tree only being able to be a good tree and produce good fruit according to the environment it is in. If the environment is bad, then the tree and its fruit will be bad. If the environment is good, then the tree and its fruit will be good. You can make the tree and its fruit good or bad according to the environment in which it's planted. You are a seed. You have tremendous worth, value, gifts, creativity, abilities, power, and beauty inside you. Therefore, you must be very selective and careful of the environment you allow yourself to grow in. It is the condition of the soil, not the content of the seed, nor the actions of or the ability of the sower which governs a person's response to the gospel of Christ. The seed, God's word, is always good. It is the soil of the person's heart, personality, will, and emotions that must be prepared and cultivated to receive Christ. Sharing your faith is part of the equation, but do not despair when the feedback is negative. It's not enough to focus on self or seed development, but rather concentrate your efforts, if you will, on soil, or as it were, soul development. When the conditions are right, faith will blossom into a fruitful plant, bearing some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.